Okay, the next section of our lesson, we're going to be looking at desk checking. Uh, desk checking is a manual process where we check an algorithm to make sure that it works correctly, the logic works correctly, before we code it. Uh, and so what we need to do is, first of all, develop some desk check test data uh, that we know the expected output for, and then we can use that to check whether or not the algorithm actually works as expected. Okay, so uh, for this task, for the first task there, we're going to work through this one together. So this is a task that's going to check whether or not um, a person at an amusement park can ride a roller coaster. So this would be a program that's just running uh, with a couple of sensors maybe, checking, people, checking people's weight and checking people's height. And the aim is that if, let's scroll down to the problem, uh, if, oh, that's a bit messy, so if the person is taller than 135 centimetres, then they're allowed on the ride, so long as they're less than 100 kilograms. So if you're over 100 kil kilograms, you're not allowed on the ride, and if you're smaller than 135 centimetres, you're not allowed on the ride. And so what we need to do is check that the person uh, matches those. Now when we develop test data, um, a minimum test data set should test both boundaries and ranges. Okay, so our two key words are boundaries and ra ranges. So if we look at this problem, our boundary are the area where we move from yes to no. So in this one, height is 135. So our boundary value is height being greater than 135 or height being less than 135. Our boundary is height equal to 135. So our first value is going to test where the height is 135 and that's our boundary. So the reason why we're te testing that is the boundary because if they're equal to 135 we shouldn't let them ride. So we're testing whether or not that's actually going to work for us. Um, the other boundary there is the weight being equal to 100 because if they're less than 100 then they can ride but if they're equal to or greater than 100 kilograms, then they shouldn't be allowed to ride. So that's also a second boundary. Now you've got to think through the, when you're developing your test data, all of the possible, possible combinations. Because we said our boundaries are 135 and 100, but we've also got ranges. So we've also got the possibility that they could be less than 135 and greater than 135. So we're going to need to choose a value that matches that as well. So we're going to go just with a little bit greater than 135, 140, and just a little bit less than 135, 130. And so that way we've now got the range, which is the less than value, the range, which is the greater than value, the 140, and the boundary value, which is 135 for our height. Then within that, we have to also check our other range. Uh, so our second um, boundary value is the weight. So for that one, we've got a weight of 100, but we also need to check the value which is less than 100, and a value which is greater than 100. Now you can use those same values all three times. And I think, have I got a yes? I do have one more cell. And so that's going to give us all of the possible combinations where we have our height at 135, so there's our boundary value. We have our height at 140, which is the value where it's greater than that, and we have the value at 130 where it's less than. And so this is going to give us the nine different tests. One where it's less, one where it's equal to, and one where it's greater than each boundary value within our problem. Okay, what I'd like you to do is come up with your own test data there, you can use mine, and give the reason why you're actually testing that and can you develop an expected output. So fill out this last column here after you've entered in the height and the weight with the reason why you're using that test data and then what the expected output is. Actually I'll help you with the first one. So in this one they are equal to 135. So wherever the height is 135 it should fail. So this should say you're not allowed. The one where it's going to be allowed is where they are taller than one 
35 but still less than 100 kilos so that value there is our allowed value all of the other ones should not be allowed because they're either too small <coughs> or too heavy and so those are all the people who are not allowed to ride on our ride okay so come up with your test data given a reason reason and expected output and then what we're going to do underneath that is actually perform a desk check with some of those values to see whether or not our algorithm works.